This module will review the Beamer interface, which was designed to be technically advanced while also being intuitive and easy to use. This screen will clearly show the operational modes that have been selected. In the top right section of the screen is the neutral electrode or grounding pad indicator. When you plug a properly applied dual foil dispersive neutral electrode into the receptacle at the lower left of the unit, the display will turn from flashing red to steady green, indicating that the patient is properly grounded. Dual foil dispersive neutral electrodes are recommended, but use of a single foil dispersive neutral electrode also turns the light green, although it doesn't need to be applied to the patient to do so. To the right of the screen are the two main buttons that you will use to operate the system. The first is the menu button, and the second is the rotary switch. When pressed, the menu button allows you to access the list of programs on screen by highlighting a cursor. Use the rotary switch to scroll to the desired selection, and when there, simply press the switch, which activates that highlighted mode. This on-screen menu is a list of the six most recently used programs. As a new program is used, it goes to the top of the list, and the last program on the list falls off. You will discover with use that six programs will encompass the bulk of your procedures. Below the list of programs are two other selections, Programs and Setup. The program selection allows you to program up to 99 individual programs, which can be procedure-specific or physician-specific and can be custom-named. The setup selection is for the initial setup of the unit that is done during the initial installation of the Beamer. The unit is laid out in a simple and intuitive horizontal fashion. The top line is labeled Monopolar M1 and is where the active cord is plugged. There is an activation light, two channel selector buttons, and the parameters of the selected program related to the monopolar M1 receptacle. The next line is labeled monopolar M2 and is where the reusable argon adapter cable is plugged. It has the same buttons as above and will display parameters dependent on the program selected. Packaged with the probes are a supply of disposable filters. Attach the female end of a filter to the argon gas outlet snugly, being careful to not over-tighten, and then attach the reusable cable to the filter. Before placing the probe into the scope, press the purge button and gas will flow to purge the probe of ambient air. Now the procedure can begin. The third line down is labeled Bipolar B1 and is used for a bipolar probe, such as a bicap superconductor probe or gold probe. These devices plug directly into the coaxial receptacle on the left without the need for any adapters. Moving across, we see that it is identical to the lines above. You will almost always have your active cord for snares and sphincter tomes plugged into M1. The second monopolar input will be designated as the argon channel. The third input, or bipolar B1, will always be used when using a bipolar probe. A fourth line labeled bipolar B2 is rarely used, but available. Channel selector buttons are color-coded yellow and blue to correlate with the cut or coag parameter settings to the right. To change any of the settings within the cut mode, simply press the yellow button. Each press of the button will highlight a parameter within the cut area with a red square. The first parameter is the power setting. After it is highlighted, designated by the red outline, you can make adjustments by turning the rotary switch. Select that change by pressing in the rotary switch. Pressing the yellow button again toggles the red frame to the second parameter, which is cutting currents. When we highlight this area, we see that a number of options appear to the right that can be selected. But remember that these options will already be assigned to the program you've selected upon initial setup, so you will seldom, if ever, need to go into these settings. The last parameter is the foot switch assignment, which will already be assigned during initial program setup. The blue button or COAG button operates in the same way as the yellow button, but allows you to make changes to the COAG parameters. On the next line is Argon Setup. Since argon is a coag function, the parameters are listed in the blue coag section of the display. 
Notice that there is an additional parameter labeled liters per minute, as argon coagulation requires a power setting as well as a gas flow rate. Again, these settings do not have to be changed as they are already programmed into the standard saved programs. Now let's review how easily one can select a program and see what the display will look like. Let's do polypectomy. We first press the menu button and scroll down. Then we press the switch to enter the new program. The display removes all unnecessary modes except a cut in coag mode as either of these may be used to remove the polyp. Notice that the power and current selections are automatically selected, so you're ready to go. To set up for an argon case, press the menu button and scroll down to the argon program you want. Then press the rotary switch. Notice that the first line, M1, goes blank and the display shows the settings for doing an argon case on the second line, which is where we have the argon cable attached. When performing a bipolar case with the BICAP probe, simply select the BICAP program and plug the probe into the B1 receptacle. To learn more about the unit, please view the next module.